Hi everyone, my name is Heather from the Therapy Notes Success Team. Today we're going to show you how to create custom forms within the Therapy Notes library. With our new document builder, creating and sharing documents with clients through the Therapy Portal is now easier than ever. Practice users can create forms like practice agreements, cancellation policies, and more, with additional features coming soon to allow for creation of fillable forms. Before starting this tutorial, make sure that you've set up the basics of your Therapy Notes account and that you've enabled the Client Portal and Client Portal Document Sharing within the Settings section. If you still need to complete these steps, you can visit the Therapy Notes Help Center for more videos and articles or contact our support team by phone or email for one-on-one -on -one support 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Custom document creation requires the Practice Administrator role. To create a custom form, first you'll need to access the library from your Therapy Notes account. Click on the Portal Forms tab and then click on the Create Form button. This will launch the Form Builder canvas. The Form Builder allows you to customize the title of your form, the form description, sharing permissions, and allows you to create forms from scratch or copy and paste from existing forms outside of the Therapy Notes library. Forms can be set to be always available, enabled or disabled, and can be processed by admins, clinicians, and billers. Begin by entering in a title for the form in the title box. This title will be viewable by the patient. Next, add a description if you would like. Descriptions are only viewable by practice users and are not visible to the client. Next, select the availability for the form in the sharing on the portal section. Choosing enabled will make the document available for sharing to the client portal. Choosing Always Available will allow all clients with portal accounts access to the form to use at any time. The Always Available option will only be available to use if the form uses the patient signature component. Forms can either be marked disabled or will remain disabled until it is completed and ready to share. When a custom form is disabled, it will only be visible to practice admins in the library. Then, you'll choose Access within your Therapy Notes account. This section allows you to choose the type of access for the document once it has been created. Descriptions of each access type are listed alongside the corresponding radio buttons. Once you have filled out the About New Form section, you are ready to create your custom document using the Form Builder. The Form Canvas has several formatting tools, some of which you may already be familiar with. The built-in Rich Text Editor allows users to add headings, subheadings, paragraphs, and quotes. Text can be formatted in bold, italicized, underlined, and users also have the ability to make bulleted or numbered lists as well as indents. The divider tool makes it easy to break up information within the form into sections, making it easier to navigate for you and your client. For forms requiring patient signatures, the patient signature box can be placed anywhere within the document by dragging the patient signature icon to any position in your canvas. Additionally, at the bottom of the form builder is a checkbox to add practice acknowledgement. The practice acknowledgement option cannot be used without a patient signature component. If the practice acknowledgement has been added, the document will be put into a needs processing status when it is completed by the patient on the portal, and a to-do list item will be created for the practice in Therapy Notes. A practice user with the appropriate role, either clinician, administrative, or billing, would then be able to apply their signature to the final document as an acknowledgement that the document was reviewed. All components of the form can be moved around or adjusted by simply dragging and dropping the component box around the form building canvas. Once your document is complete, simply click Save Changes. Now that you've created your custom form, let's send it to a client. Clicking the Share on Portal button will open a pop-up box allowing you to select your patient's name from the dropdown. Select the client you wish to share the document with, add any necessary instructions in the Instruction text box, and click the Send Document Request button. Once you've sent the document, the client will have access through their Therapy Portal homepage. At the Documents tab at the top, the client will click on the title of the form to open the document. 
and if applicable, the client will be prompted to sign the form electronically. Once the client has submitted the completed form, they will have the option to download the form or move on to any other pending forms in their Therapy Portal Documents tab. Forms that require acknowledgement by the practice once they have been signed by the patient can be accessed from the Patient's Documents tab. Simply click the document name or Needs Processing to open up the document and click the Acknowledge to Sign Form button. This will then automatically update the form to show it was acknowledged by the practice on both the practice and the patient's end. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see more from Therapy Notes, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Thanks for watching.